you need to first understand that no problem is serious once you understand that the 99% of all your problems are gone a problem is there because you are identified with that problem it has nothing to do with its past it has nothing to do with its history you are identified with it and that is the real thing that is the key to solving all problems for example if you are an angry person and if you go to the psychiatrist then he will say look into your past look at how this anger arises the psychiatrist will want to wash away all these imprints on your mind he will want to clean it off clean away all the past completely but if you go to an eastern mystic then he will say that you are angry because you are identified with this anger and next time when anger happens just be a watcher just be a witness to this anger do not get identified with this anger do not say i am angry just look at it watch it like you are watching it on a tv screen look at yourself as if you are looking at somebody else you are pure watchfulness just watch this anger when this cloud of anger comes around you just watch it remain alert so that you do not get identified the whole thing is about not getting identified with the problem and once you have learnt it then there is never a question of having so many problems because this key the same key of watchfulness will open all the locks it is so with anger it is so with greed with pride with lust all of your suffering just watch whatever problems are happening it is just like a cloud that is passing do not get identified with it right now this moment you can become detached from it you can cut yourself away from it the bridge can be broken now and it can be broken only in the now in this present moment going into the past cannot help watchfulness is freedom if you can say that you have spent 21 years of your life in a crazy educational system then one thing is certain you are not crazy the system failed it did not work you are not crazy that is why you can see the whole system is crazy a mad man cannot see that he is mad only a sane person can see that this is madness to see madness as madness sanity is needed this is the beauty of watchfulness watchfulness can slip out of anything there is no barrier no boundary to it just a moment before you were an englishman understanding the nonsense of nationalism a second later after watchfulness you are no longer an englishman or whatever it is you think you are i am not saying that your white skin will change it will remain white but you are no longer identified with this whiteness i am not saying that you will forget the english language it will still be there in your memory but your watchfulness has slipped out your watchfulness is standing on a hill looking at the valley the english man is dead in the valley and you are up there looking at him from the hills far away unattached untouched the eastern method means watchfulness and the western method means analyzing analyzing you go round and round and witnessing you simply get out of the circle you simply get out of all of your problems and you understand what pure joy is pure bliss is